Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English. Friends, in this video, I'll summarize a story titled Precision Medicine, which is written by a doctor, Dr. Alicia Paro Meiti, who is a US-based physician, uh, graduated from graduated from Sydney Kimmel Medical College at Thomas Jefferson University in 2020. So you'll be getting a lot of uh, medical science terms. So before that, let's have an introduction about the story here. Precision Medicine by Dr. Alicia P. Maiti is a short story, which is set in the near future, which explores how artificial intelligence and robotic technology are changing the healthcare industry. In this hospital, so there's a hospital here, Boats. Boats means to say robots. Robots handle almost all medical work like diagnosing, performing surgeries, giving treatments and even providing providing palliative care. Uh, palliative care. <clears throat> Dr. Michael. So there's a doctor whose name is Dr. Michael, who is a doctor, uh, a doctor with over three decades of experience. And Dr. Michael finds himself mostly supervising these machines rather than practicing medicine hands-on. Means to say, rather than doing the surgeries, and he does the surgery using those robots. So the story revolves around Iris Lisbon. Iris Lisbon, who is a 28-year-old um, woman who diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, AML. So despite the robot's rapid and precise treatment, her condition gets worse and ultimately she dies. Though she has been getting uh, medicated by the robots, but she cannot, she does not survive. She has been suffering from AML. So this narrative, this story raises a very important question that can machine truly replace doctors? Is healthcare only about curing disease or does it also involve human empathy presence and shared suffering so let's begin the discussion in detail michael's routine <clears throat> dr michael who is on the ninth floor of a uh, 12th i'm sorry who's on the ninth hour who is not floor who is in ninth hour of 12 hour night shift and uh, who is Keeping, who's trying to keep himself awake with coffee. So to last job and nine hour, nine, that's the ninth hour, who is going to prepare coffee to make himself awake. So as he walks through the hospital, he observes patients which are being cared entirely by the robots. The robots are very much efficient. Why? How? Emilia Jones, Emilia Jones, the, uh, the patient, Emilia Jones had an emergency uh, what emergency append uh, sorry appendectomy appendectomy performed emergency appendectomy performed by a surgical boat secondly preston felton preston felton was treated for a urinary infection while the robot played a soothing uh, lullaby uh, i think this only way we can pronounce lullaby Lullaby to help him rest means to say here also robot plays an important role Raj Sharma the patient in cardiogenic shock was managed with a precise medication infusions controlled by a cardiac robot so this is how he observed that how these robots were really working very well now Michael feels like a glorified baby babysitter overseeing the robots rather than actively treating the patients. So he was not treating the patients. He was treating the patients by using robots, by operating the robots. He reflects that while the robots have solved the nursing shortage, they, but they lack human warmth and emotional connection. Now, a new patient whose name is Iris Lisbon, 20 years old patient, Iris Lisbon, 28-year-old patient, appears on the list of Michael's patients list, MEDDR911. That is the name of the medical robot. Immediately starts working on her, attaching EKG 
leads drawing blood running a full body pt ct scan so all these things are done by whom robo her symptoms this iris lesbon 20 years old lady her symptoms were there fatigue fevers painful gums and bruising these symptoms suggest a serious long term illness and iris is very much pale weak so not much comfortable right so here michael introduces himself but the boat has already gathered all the necessary medical data so michael's role is is here just to supervise so during a brief conversation the patient iris reveals her life she says that she works in an antique furniture shop she studied art history and she has a dream of owning her own store so her humor and warmth make her relatable and human michael realizes that her illness has been ongoing for many months which shows the silent suffering patients may endure before reaching the hospital so there are many patients they wait for the extreme now the diagnosis begins MEDTR 911 robots robo quickly prints the definitive diagnosis so what is the result by this robo <clears throat> the printout says acute myeloid uh, leukemia aml with hyper leuco hyper leuco uh, cytosis that means to say it shows extreme high white blood cells count so the robo has given a recommend treatment also hydroxyurea and urgent leukoparesis i'm also facing difficulty to pronounce those medical terms so that means to say that is a result given by the robo right so while the robots work with incredible speed and precision michael feels the emotional weight of the diagnosis and the human suffering behind the data so decline and end of life care how despite treat treatment iris condition does not improve the boards transition her care from treatment to comfort so what are the treatment pall007 robot gives a which is a palliative care boat which monitors her vitals and administers morphine giving tree 1800 that is another robot which is the organ procurement robot also visits which shows the hospital's cold efficiency then iris is getting weaker and skeletal she is covered in bruises michael sits nearby unable to go, go closer due to infection control rules even though friends and left i'm sorry even though friends had left flowers and balloons iris dies alone except for michael and robots so iris dies here the robots could not cure her now michael as a human doctor emotional response michael witnesses iris final moments and his overcome with a grief and anguish he recalls the hospital's motto what is the hospital's motto efficiency precision compassionate care that's a motto of the hospital this story highlights one irony what's the irony while the robots achieve efficiency and precision true compassion and empathy and emotional com- emotional connection can come only through humans not from machines michael soro represents the human cost of a fully automated healthcare system so let's conclude this article type story so this story shows a futuristic medical world which will be dominated by technology robots while robots bring speed accuracy and efficiency but they cannot replace human compassion empathy and presence 
Iris' death and Michael's grief remind us that healthcare is not just about curing disease, it's also about connecting with patients, sharing their suffering and offering comfort. So this is how I have tried my best to summarize this important article converted into an article type story, Precision Medicine, Dr. Alicia P. Mehti. So that means to say that human touch is important, though we might be technically so much advanced, AI cannot substitute human beings, which we should not forget. So thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned with Mukesh English.